Lagrange's four-square theorem, also known as Batchett's conjecture, states that every natural number can be represented as the sum of four integer squares, where the four numbers are integers. For illustration, 3, 31 and 310 can be represented as the sum of four squares as follows. This theorem was proved by Joseph Louis Lagrange in 1770. Historical Development From examples given in the Arithmetica it is clear that Diophantus was aware of the theorem. This book was translated in 1621 into Latin by Blatchett, who stated the theorem in the notes of his translation. But the theorem was not proved until 1770 by Lagrange. Adrien Marie Legendre completed the theorem in 1797-8 with his three-square theorem, by proving that a positive integer can be expressed as the sum of three squares if and only if it is not of the form for integers and, later, in 1834. Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi discovered a simple formula for the number of representations of an integer as the sum of four squares with his own four-square theorem. The formula is also linked to Descartes' theorem of four kissing circles, which involves the sum of the squares of the curvatures of four circles. This is also linked to Apollonian gaskets, which were more recently related to the ramanujan peterson conjecture, the classical proof. Several very similar modern versions of Lagrange's proof are easy to find in the literature. The proof below is a slightly simplified version, in which the cases for which m is even or odd do not require separate arguments. It is sufficient to prove the theorem for every odd prime number p. This immediately follows from Euler's four-square identity. The residues of A2 modulo P are distinct for every A between 0 and 2. To see this, take summer and define C as A2 mod P. A is a root of the polynomial X2 minus C over the field Z, P, Z. So is P minus A. Contingently, for B taking integral values between 0 and 2, the minus B2 minus 1 are distinct. By the pigeonhole principle, there are A and B in this range, for which A2 and minus B2 minus 1 are congruent modulo P, that is for which A2 plus B2 plus 12 plus O2 equals NP, with 0 less than N less than P. Now let M be the smallest positive integer such that MP is the sum of four squares x12 plus x22 plus x32 plus x42 with this property. So there is at least one. We show by contradiction that M equals one. Supposing it is not the case, we prove the existence of a positive integer R less than M, for which RP is also the sum of four squares. For this purpose, we consider for each chi the yi which is in the same residue class modulo m and between 2 and m2. It follows that y12 plus y22 plus y32 plus y42 equals mr. for some positive integer r less than m. Finally, another appeal to Euler's four-square identity shows that mpmre equals z12 plus z22 plus z32 plus z42, where each c is divisible by m. It follows that, for y equals z per meter, w12 plus w22 plus w32 plus w42 equals rp, and this is in contradiction with the minimality of m. Proof using the Hurwitz integers. One of the ways to prove the theorem relies on Hurwitz quaternions, which are the analog of integers for quaternions. The Hurwitz quaternions consist of all quaternions with integer components and all quaternions with half-integer components. These two sets can be combined into a single formula where are integers. Thus, the quaternion components are either all integers or all half-integers, depending on whether is even or odd, respectively. The set of Hurwitz quaternions forms a ring, that is to say, the sum or product of any two Hurwitz quaternions is likewise a Hurwitz quaternion. The norm of a rational quaternion is the non-negative rational number where is the conjugative. Note that the norm of a Hurwitz quaternion is always an integer. Since quaternion multiplication is associative and real numbers commute with other quaternions, 
The norm of a product of quaternions equals the product of the norms. For any, it follows easily that as a unit in the ring of Hurwitz quaternions if and only if, the proof of the main theorem begins by reduction to the case of prime numbers. Euler's four-square identity implies that if Langrange's four-square theorem holds for two numbers, it holds for the product of the two numbers. Since any natural number can be factored into powers of primes, it suffices to prove the theorem for prime numbers. It is true for, to show this for an odd prime integer, represent it as a quaternion and assume for now that it is not a Hurwitz irreducible, that is, it can be factored into two non-unit Hurwitz quaternions the norms of are integers such that an, this shows that both are equal to, and is the sum of four squares if it happens that the chosen has half integer coefficients. It can be replaced by another Hurwitz quaternion. Choose in such a way that has even integer coefficients. Then since has even integer coefficients, will have integer coefficients and can be used instead of the original to give a representation of as the sum of four squares. As for showing that is not a Hurwitz irreducible, Lagrange proved that any odd prime divides at least one number of the form, where of integers. This can be seen as follows. Since is prime, can hold for integers, only when, thus, the set of squares contains distinct residues modulo, likewise, contains residues, since there are only residues in total, and, the sets and must intersect, the number can be factored in Hurwitz quaternions, the norm on Hurwitz quaternions satisfies a form of the Euclidean property. For any quaternion with rational coefficients we can choose a Hurwitz quaternion so that by first choosing so that and then so that for, then we obtain it follows that for any Hurwitz quaternions with, there exists a Hurwitz quaternion such that the ring of Hurwitz quaternions is not commutative, hence it is not an actual Euclidean domain, and it does not have unique factorization in the usual sense. Nevertheless, the property above implies that every right ideal is principal. Thus, there is a Hurwitz quaternion such that in particular, for some Hurwitz quaternion, if were a unit, would be a multiple of, however, this is impossible as is not a Hurwitz quaternion for. Similarly, if were a unit, we would have so divides, which again contradicts the fact that is not a Hurwitz quaternion, thus, is not Hurwitz irreducible, as claimed. Generalizations Lagrange's four-square theorem is a special case of the Fermat polygonal number theorem and Waring's problem. Another possible generalization is the following problem. Given natural numbers, can we solve for all positive integers in integers? The case is answered in the positive by Lagrange's four-square theorem. The general solution was given by Ramanujan. He proved that if we assume, without loss a generality, that then there are exactly 54 possible choices for such that the problem is solvable in integers for all. Algorithms Michael O. Rabin and Jeffrey Shallot have found randomized polynomial time algorithms for computing a single representation for a given integer. In expected running time, number of representations the number of representations of a natural number n as the sum of four squares is denoted by R4. Jacobi's four-square theorem states that this is eight times the sum of the divisors of n if n is odd and 24 times the sum of the odd divisors of n if n is even, i.e., equivalently, it is eight times the sum of all its divisors which are not divisible by four, i.e., we may also write this as where the second term is to be taken as zero if n is not divisible by four. In particular, for a prime number p we have the explicit formula r4 equals 8. Some values of r4 occurs infinitely often as r4 equals r4 whenever n is even. The values of r4, n can be arbitrarily large. Indeed, r4, n is infinitely often larger than 8 square root log n. Uniqueness the sequence of positive integers which have only one representation as a sum of four squares is, 
1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 14, 15, 23, 24, 32, 56, 96, 128, 224, 384, 512, 896. These integers consist of the seven odd numbers chapter 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 15, 23 and all numbers of the form or the sequence of positive integers which cannot be represented as a sum of four non-zero squares is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 14, 17, 24, 29, 32, 41, 56, 96, 128, 224, 384, 512, 896. These integers consist of the eight odd numbers chapter 1, 3, 5, 9, 11, 17, 29, 41 and all numbers of the four more.